Hi, this is John Morgan. You're watching my series on new distinctions for entrepreneurs. By distinction, I mean you take something that you know is one thing and you look at the nuance of it, an aspect, suddenly you see that one thing is two things. You suddenly have choice where before you had none. Choice with which you can create a new inner world that is your experience and a new outer world that means the actual results you create in the world. In this series, I'll be looking at some usual entrepreneur stuff in unusual ways that will empower you to be more fulfilled, more effective, and more successful as an entrepreneur. This is video one, how to pitch impact versus impress. As soon as you think about pitching to somebody, you most likely fall into this place of thinking, how can I convince them to give me what I want? and you get in this place of neediness. It's pretty automatic and so you fall into this place of thinking what I need to do is impress them, have them think that I'm great, my project is cool or amazing so that then they will want to help me. Please, 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 help, help, help. It's inherent in the word pitch. It's like please let me pitch to you so you can, you can support me. And uh, I, I think there's a toxicity in this. So, so let's look at what if instead of impressing through pitching we're impacting. And you just shift the focus from in how, what can I get out of it to well, how can I, what, what can you get out of it? And so the moment you start to do that, you start thinking about this presentation, this pitch, not being something that will have them want to help you because they think you're great, but, you, but they start thinking to themselves, wow, this is valuable and useful to me, or I'm being impacted by this in some way. I can see a world that can be changed. I can see value that can be added somewhere because of how this is hitting me. Uh, it's a subtle difference, but it's an important one, and it's one I think you can take beyond pitching, but especially in pitching. I know when I've worked with founders that are going through uh, rounds of investment, trying to get uh, investment from, from uh, VCs or angels and stuff like that, and, and going into these conversations with the attitude of how can I get them to be impressed by my project, my mission, my company, whatever, uh, there's a toxicity that's a poisonous thing that, that gets, just like if you, in dating, like if somebody goes up to somebody and they try to impress them, it's gross, right? It's the same thing in, in pitching and in funding. And so switching the frame, switching the intention to impacting and saying, I'm not going to go in there to pitch to impress, I'm going to go there and to pitch to impact. What you start to think about is how can I add value in the pitch? How can the pitch itself not impress upon them that later there will be impact, Ooh, impress upon versus impress. That's a little bit different too, right? But how can I not, not how can I impress them, but how can I impact them in a way that they feel the value? And maybe that's something you can do directly through maybe the service that you're going to provide in, in your business is something you could actually take a piece of and serve in that pitch and actually have them experience the value of it, right? If it's a food, you give them a taste or something like that. But maybe, uh, but, but if it's not that, then, then maybe you could impact them in another way. Maybe share things in the presentation that will give them insight that adds value to them in that moment. How can I impact people? How can I serve people through my pitch, through my presentation? Also, if you're more focused on being impactful than you are being impressive, you may find that actually pitching, just standing there and spouting out your ideas and your vision may not be the most powerful approach. You may find that by or being oriented towards impact, you start thinking about how can I in, what, what can I ask of this person? What question could I ask of them? What could I find out about them? You might lead with curiosity and conversation instead of pitch because then you might know more about them and you might know more about how you can impact. I think in a one-to-one -one or one-to-few situation where it can be conversational, you're not on a stage pitching to an audience, um, then you are much more better off to be asking questions and getting curious um, which can emerge from a desire to impact much more easily than it can from a desire to impress. If you go in wanting to impress and asking questions, it will bleed through, the neediness will still be felt. So how you do it, what you do, I'm not so concerned about. What I'm interested in is you going into the, pro the, the process of pitching, figuring out what your pitch is, how you pitch, what you pitch, all that stuff, from a place of, from an intention of, I'm here to impact you. I'm not here to impress you. Much love. So if you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel, click the button, and also share with your friends, share the love, tweet it, Facebook it, Google Plus it, LinkedIn it, whatever you do, get it out there. And of course, if you really want to engage in this idea, down below in the comments, the discussion, the dialogue is where the best insights come. Challenge me, ask me questions, I will get back to you. Your ideas, your comments help me to create more videos. Finally, if you're interested in learning at all about what I do, my personal coaching for leaders, artists, musicians, sole proprietors, anybody who's a creative force in the world and creating their own things, 
check out my website. Also, if you're a coach and you want to learn more about my apprenticeship or learn more about how I create coaching clients, check out my website, link down below. Much love.